Now let's set up the goals. So if the ball goes over each goal, so if it's less than zero across or greater than 640 across. So going into our Pong project again, go to ball and just under movement, let's type int ball two colons and goal check. Aim close brace and return zero again as it's a integer. And in in here we want to see if the ball is less than zero or greater than 640. So let's write an if statement. If db sprite x, and this will return the x value of the given sprite. So ball id close parentheses is less than zero or so two lines db sprite x ball id is greater than 640 and close parentheses on top of this in the same if statement we want to check if the ball exists put another parentheses around that and in between put and so all of this either less than 0 or greater than 640 and db sprite exists ball id close parentheses then in here so if it is out of the borders or through the goals we want to put simply db delete sprite ball id close parentheses and do a semicolon now putting goal check in our main.cpp while loop just under movement put ball dot goal check open close parentheses and do a semicolon now when we compile it we'll be able to keep spawning the ball once it's gone over either end ok so let's just make it a little smaller so you can see and we'll press spacebar and you'll see that it deletes and we can keep spawning the balls but we can't spawn it if it's still on the screen in the next tutorial we'll put in collision for the balls and the bats so it can bounce around the screen so it acts a bit more like the actual Pong game hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have learned a lot bye